the wide reaches of the Hindu Kush Himalayas. Third pole of the planet Earth and a global resource with far-reaching implications for all of humanity. The region sustains an incredible diversity of ecological and cultural wealth. But these are testing times for the mountain communities. Economic disparities, globalization and climate change are slowly but surely affecting the balance between human needs and the environment. The glacial lake poses a real threat to our lives. If it bursts, our villages will be obliterated. It will be like being rubbed off the map or the face of this earth. I can't even begin to imagine such a scenario. The melting of the glaciers is symbolic of climate change. Glacial retreat in much of the Himalayan region provides compelling evidence of the changes. It will affect the food people can grow, the livestock that they can keep, and the ecology and biodiversity of the mountains. The mountain people have always been highly resilient. The problem we are facing now is that change is taking so place so rapidly that traditional mechanisms are not any more efficient. And the environment and certain aspects of daily life are not any more calculable for the people and this is creating a lot of uncertainty. Isimod is an independent regional knowledge learning and enabling centre serving eight member countries in the Hindu Kush Himalayas. The centre serves as a knowledge bridge for people from different countries to exchange ideas and experiences on mountain development. It brings together mountain farmers, scientists and the policy makers and provides them with a common platform. Using modern tools like remote sensing and reworking age-old technologies, Isimod aims to find a balance between the potentials of globalization, the impacts of climate change, and the needs of the people and the environment. Recent records show that the patterns in rain and snowfall are changing throughout the extended Himalayan region. For an area dependent on agriculture, it is either getting too much or too little water, and sometimes none at all. Glacial lakes threaten to burst, flash floods and riverine floods are on the rise. 2007 saw record levels of flooding that brought misery to 30 million people, living downstream from the great mountains. We have to create awareness about climate change and its impact and at the same time help the mountain people adapt to change. At Isimod, we study these changes scientifically and also do analysis to include traditional knowledge systems of the region. The beauty of these mountains hides other uncomfortable truths. Increasing population and changing migration patterns loss of good forest and falling crop yields, the unchecked erosion of precious topsoil are some of the challenges faced here. These were very fertile fields during my father's days. They used to bear such bountiful crops. We never went hungry. Today this land is struggling. We barely grow enough to eat, let alone sell. To add to it, the realities of a globalized economy is beginning to make its presence felt among the mountain communities. We are trying to see options for the rural populations in the mountains. For instance, niche products with value-added potentials. We are trying to promote the values of biodiversity and show the interdependence between upstream and downstream relations. Beekeeping provides not just honey and wax, it also improves crop yields through pollination. Ecotourism benefits local people and the environment. Sustainable use of forest products adds to their incomes. Investment in small renewable energy sources are options that help mountain people adapt to new challenges. Small ideas planted by Isimod and its partners but the benefits go beyond simple money. 
New approaches help the rural poor take charge of their lives again. They open new avenues and help people to adapt to a globalized economy. Women began to have a say in matters that affect their lives and children have better education opportunities. These activities start a new cycle of change. We are trying to promote opportunities for the rural population, to reduce scientific uncertainty and to create better leverage in order to influence positively the decision-making of the government institutions. Mountain people are the guardians of natural resources that provide benefits to masses of people far beyond the mountains themselves. Changes here will resonate among communities living downstream and beyond. We live in a globalized world and we have to strengthen the opportunities this offers. We have the ability to take this knowledge to the mountain farmers and we have been doing so for the past 25 years. As in many mountain areas in the world, the Hindu Kush Himalayan region is weighed down by political and cultural tensions. Increasing scarcity of resources is likely to augment existing tensions. Sharing of information beyond political borders can be complex. It is here that Isimod finds its true and unique role. Isimod links mountain communities with policy makers and policy makers in turn with researchers. It serves as a knowledge bank and helps to provide the inhabitants of the mountains with ideas that help them to maintain a life of dignity. It is a role that brings people from diverse countries to work together towards a common vision of improved livelihoods and a healthy mountain environment. <laughs>